guys, oh my gosh, it's been so long. I gotta explain myself, okay, because I've been away for two weeks and I feel like I've never been gone for that long before. Those of you that don't know, um, uh, <laughs> such a weird thing to say. I'm, I'm single now, um, I broke up and it's been a bit of a change. Yeah, so, I don't know, I was moving around lah, I mean, everyone does, right? The past two videos that you've seen were pre-recorded, so you can just imagine like, how intense and how difficult it's been for me to film a video. I can't just like sit here and pretend to be happy and jolly when I'm not. Straight after that, once I recovered spiritually or like emotionally and I was like ready to do a video, I felt sick. And I had a really bad sore throat for I want to say like one and a half weeks. I still kind of got it now but I think my voice sounds good enough for me to make a video. So I have missed you guys so 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 much. I feel so bad for not making any videos and like it's just you know I, I love it when you all talk to me so like the comment section has been really quiet because I haven't been making a new video. I just feel like oh, like so sad but okay anyway now I'm back and uh, I have a lot of videos planned so don't you worry I know school is starting soon but I will still try and squeeze in a few videos before school starts and I will also film in school but today I will be filming I'm filming a first impressions and sort of like a review of two brands of makeup that I've never tried before which is Sigma and EX1 Cosmetics. They were provided to me very kindly by Look Fantastic and I'm just gonna try them out lah. They sent me a box of stuff that I can do like a full- Ooh, matchy! Hello! Yeah, okay, sorry. They sent me a box of stuff that I can do most of my face with so I will wear this entire full face and I'm gonna let you know how it goes! Okay, towards I... Uh, I'm not wearing any makeup, I don't know if you can tell. I will be giving a very fair and honest review ah, cause I don't... No point, no point, I mean y'all can see on my face right, if it doesn't look good, so... Got a mirror here, if I'm looking while I'm applying, that's what I'm looking at, okay? First thing that they sent me is the EX1 Cosmetics Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. Honestly, I've not heard of this brand before. Maybe I've just been like, living in a well, but... It looks really promising, the packaging is really nice. This is a... A curler bun because I, I miss my curly hair lah, okay? Let's try and go into it. Okay, honestly right, I didn't tell them what my skin tone is so I think they just agat. But, uh, yeah, hoping for the best lah. I can't even really get my own foundation shit right so <sighs> I'm just hoping that someone else decided and it's good for me. Let me check. Okay leh! I think it's in my skin tone. Wow, they're so accurate. How did they do that? I think they're just like aga from my, my videos. <sighs> Gonna just blend with a Coastal Sands brush. It's just a random brush lah. Can use any brush. Oh, it blends really nicely. Yeah, apart from the fact that it really matches my skin tone like super well. And it blends like a dream. It actually doesn't feel very thick. I like it. Should I put a bit more? See if it's buildable. Let me squeeze a little bit more. This is supposed to be a very natural foundation, it's supposed to be slightly luminous and very like liquidy which is exactly what it is. Uh, I feel like it blends really well because it is so viscous. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this colour, you see. I think I think it does look pretty good but I think you'll need to set this with powder, especially for me because I have oilier skin. I think, I think I just, it just got oilier as I grew older. I do have concealer here. This is the EX1 Delete Concealer. It feels very similar to the Boeing concealer by Benefit, but it, this is creamier, which I think is easier to blend out, uh, which I guess is why I'm putting it under my eyes because I would have never done that with the Boeing concealer. This is quite a versatile concealer, I feel, because then you can cover blemishes because it's not that liquidy, uh, so it doesn't really budge, and also because it has a nice yellow undertone which is good for Asian skin tones and good for the under eyes. I've got a pimp here! Gosh, you know it's that time of the month and then you get like all this nonsense like around this area. Hate it! It blends well, I can't see the concealer line anymore and I didn't really have to try, I'm using my fingers. So, wow so far pretty impressed with this brand, I've never tried it before and it's like... Damn girl! I'm gonna set my face now with Pure Crushed Minerals Powder Foundation. I'm using this as a powder because I already have liquid foundation on. I'm sure you can just use it by itself as a powder foundation if you don't really have blemished skin, you just want like an even complexion. 
I think it'll be quite light and stuff, but I'm just gonna test out the powder as like a overlay kind of thing, you know? Can you see my forehead in comparison to like my cheek? If you're wondering why I use such a small brush to set, it's because I want to see the difference that it makes with the powder and without and I can see a very slight mattifying but honestly it doesn't take away the glow from the foundation I think you can tell also it almost just like continues to blur out my skin a little which is very very nice and because the powder is in my skin tone it makes my finish look extra flawless you know what I mean wow very impressed la. never tried this brand before it's not bad it's not bad okay that is my base done for now. I don't have any eyebrow products from here so I will just go there. Excuse me while I fill it in. Okay, so I am done with my eyebrows. I just kind of filled them in like quite haphazardly. So next up, I'm not gonna put on any eyeshadow because I wanna try out this liquid eyeliner. It's from Sigma. It's called Line Ace. What? Okay. Um... This is kind of disappointing. I don't know if you can see, but some of the hairs have gone haywire. It took me less than, I want to say, 5 seconds, which is very impressive and it's very black. It's quite difficult for you to get a thin line because the brush is already quite full but then if you want something like this, you can get it so quickly because of the brush so it really just depends on what kind of eyeliner look you like and it was easy for me because I draw my eyeliner all the time but yeah, I'm not sure it, this will be very good for absolute beginners Okay, I don't know if you can see but a few of the stray um, eyeliner brush hairs have made it quite messy for me. It's quite easy to just get a clean, dry cotton bud and just poof, 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 clean it up. So that's not a problem for me, but if it may be a problem for you, I guess you wanna like consider. But <laughs> this is my wing so far. I will go back later lah. This is honestly not a bad product, but yeah, like I said, you have to be very seasoned with the art of like liquid eyeliners to do it. And also, I like that it's so black, so I don't have to like go over and over and over again because, uh, yeah, sometimes that happens, right? How do you feel about it? Like, I'm going to wait for this one to dry, so I'm going to start curling my lashes on this side. Hopefully, the eyeliner doesn't transfer. With me, it happens very often. Oh. That's really surprising. It didn't transfer. It's dried down to a very nice matte. I'm really afraid that the eyeliner might crust off um, like during the day because it really sets but I hope it doesn't. If it doesn't, it'll be a damn good eyeliner. Let me just apply some mascara now. This is Sigma's Monumental Lash. Never, never tried it before. Very... Ooh! Ooh! Look at the brush! I like it when it's so fluffy and hairy. I think it helps my lashes uh, lengthen and volumize really well. And it has like a weird kind of like bottle shape. So far, I don't know if you can tell my lashes. Okay, my lashes are pretty damn bloody short. Especially for this one. I don't know why, but this seems to be half as short as this. I don't know. Life. I really like the fact that it's not making my lashes clumpy. I don't think it volumizes it, but it lengthens it very slightly and it tints it really, really black. Let me try applying another coat because I feel like it dries really fast also. That is so strange. Look how much volume this is giving this eye. It has them strange eh. It didn't do that to the other eye. Okay, so now I'm very confused. Well, this eye and its eyelashes look very voluminous, right? This one looks like thinner and more natural. Yeah, I think the more coats you add, it makes it look much more voluminous and really, really freaking black. But uh, you also do get the spider spider lash syndrome where they all start clumping and start looking a bit thicker like this. Might also have been the eyeliner that kind of... Oh my gosh, my bro... Uh, just a mess today. I don't know how to film videos already. Yeah, I think it might have also... As 
I was saying before I rudely interrupted myself. Um, the eyeliner may have caught onto some of my eyelashes and made it a bit more tacky and thicker with the goo. That's why it made the mascara look very clumpy. But honestly, for this eye, I like the effect. Mm. Right now, I will be going in with blush. This is from EX1. It's in the shade Pretty in Peach. Cute! So it looks like this. Oh my gosh, it's really flattering. Let me swatch it. Ooh, it's really smooth. Okay. This is how it looks. It's really finely milled, it's really really smooth. When I when I touched it, I didn't expect it to be so smooth. And it seems to apply really well. Oh no, I picked up a lot. <laughs> Look a bit drunk. <laughs> I think it makes my skin have a very healthy, nice kind of flush. Finally, I'm going to top this entire look off with um, Power Crayon by Sigma. It's a very nice... Um... <gasps> it's very smooth. Do you want to see it? Right? There's a slight crayony smell to this. <laughs> it really feels like I'm putting on a crayon. So far it does apply quite smoothly as you can see. But yeah, this is very very pink. I've never worn anything like it before. I feel very uncomfortable wearing it because I'm like... Ugh. Yeah, the smell is quite strong. I can still smell it on my lips. But the application was very even. It was very smooth. Easy to apply also because I think of the tip and stuff. And I guess it's really easy to bring around. That completes my look. I will let you know how this wears throughout the day. It's about 4.30 now. I will check back in in, I want to say like a couple of hours. Then I'll see how this fares. So happy with the base. I just keep looking at it like, damn, that's a pretty good base. Yeah. So I will see you guys soon. I have to film in this setup now because as you can see it's very very dark and um, my overhead lighting is not gonna cut it so figured you guys need a close up. It is now I want to say 9.10, 9.15. Last time I checked it was like 9.10 so this is my face. I did get oilier. Yeah I'm very impressed with the foundation. I think it did a pretty good job and I can still see the blush on. Maybe under this light because it's so harsh, it makes my skin look really oily and really washed out but it feels like nothing. It's very thin and it was very very pleasant to put on. Uh, my eyeliner has a little bit of flaking uh, but I did rub my eye, this eye just now so let me see if they are here. I can't really see carefully here, I'm not that close to it. Editing Brenna, can you let me know? I won't test if it's waterproof because it doesn't claim to be waterproof but when I do like go like this, I do see the flakes but when I didn't touch it, it didn't fall out. So I guess that's something to consider. So I haven't really changed my mind about the mascara, I still like it. I wouldn't say it's the absolute best but for the colour, you know, it's really really black and it really does plump up your lashes. Especially for this one, I feel like it really did um, volumize them quite a bit. Wow, I really, I really do like the foundation. I don't know if you can see. It still kind of looks like my skin. And the concealer held up pretty well. My pimple is still here, but you can only see it because it's raised. Funny thing about the lips, I actually started liking the lip colour. The more I look at it, the more normal it became to me. I think I was just really afraid of it being so bright and pink. I think it did get a bit darker in colour and it settled into my lips and it just looks very pleasant. You know, it, it brightens up my face and I think it's just a very interesting colour to work with. I have eaten, I've had a few nuggets just as a snack and then I've also had water. So this is after and since I think it's been like 5 hours, right? So I think that's pretty impressive. Uh, shall I do like the kiss test? I think you can see a slight, like a slight shadow of colour. So that means now it doesn't really transfer anymore. So I guess that is a good thing if you like this colour, if you like the whole crayon thing, I think definitely worth a try. So that is my overall impression. If I had to pick like a favourite product, I, I have to pick two. I have to pick the liquid foundation and the powder foundation because I feel like a combination of those two gave me a very very good base. Which is why I kind of like I'm just having like a good like makeup day and I'm like hee 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 hee. Okay, I'm gonna go now and I'll let Brenda in the past get back to it. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to click the thumbs up. I will leave the link to where you can get all of these products down below and I will list the names and all my sheets and everything in case you want to get the same as me. Yay! Yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos with the subscribe button that looks like this. I've got a few hauls coming up because I just keep buying stuff and um, I've also got like some personal videos that I might want to film so let me know if you're interested. Thank you for sticking around. I know some of you have been wondering where I've been and um, if, if you want to, please follow my Twitter and my Snapchat and all that because sometimes I do talk about where I am and what I'm doing and stuff. It's been a rough couple of weeks but I'm doing better and honestly I am still very excited to make videos so I'm glad you guys are here. I will see you guys really soon. Have a really great day or night or evening. Bye! in shade shade one oh my gosh i'm not that fair oh yeah should i move this closer you can see my mirror already okay sorry should i curl my lashes yes i will ah! by the way if you can hear noises it's my brother playing his game gaming boys <sighs> mm. Every time after I do my mascara, I'm like... <sighs> okay. Hours? What time is it now? Let me go grab my phone. <laughs>